All right. Let's let's hope that works. Well, I have a message that says meeting is now streaming live on Facebook. What? Oh boy. <laughs> okay, that's cool. That's cool. Something's working. Oh, Nancy wants in. Okay, we'll let Nancy in. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I think what I'll do is I'll rename I'll rename my other account. No, I won't. I'll just leave it there. Then you know it's me. Oh, there's Jim. Hi, Jim. Where's Philip, Betty? Hi. Where's Philip? He's out on the deck talking on the phone. Uh, I, know, I, should, I should tell him to get in here. <laughs> <laughs> Traveling, I'm gonna need you in a minute. I got, I got, my, got my hard copy. You guys got your hard copy in case something goes. <laughs> All right, because I'm like, oh man. Ours is on our iPad. My printer wouldn't work today. Oh. Uh, uh, Betty, you have a hard copy just in case something goes weird. Yes, I do, but I still don't have you on my screen. I can see Jim and Gail and Marilyn, but I never see you. Hmm. That is really strange. Are you, does yours go across the screen or does it kind of... Um... I just have me in a little box at the corner. There, there you are. Okay, so you need my phone. Okay, I'll, I'll just leave my phone up then. Okay, okay. Now we have two Janets. Yeah. It's kind of good if I can oh, see. Oh, look, it's twins. <laughs> <laughs> My sister, Teresa. <laughs> that won't be the first time. Yeah. So I'm having a, a bit of a challenge with uh, my audio. My audio is not working on my laptop. So I'm guessing it's a setting, but I cannot find the setting. So when in doubt, I have my other Zoom account on on my phone. So. Oh, hello. Hello. Hi. 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 Nancy, can you hear us OK? I can hear you. Yes, I can. And I can see you, too. Oh. I know, right? <laughs> we and can't see this, you. This, this is a funny trick I can do. You can, there's, there's a slight delay from one device to the next. <laughs> oh, I'm not going to lie. I am uber nervous on how things will work out today. So just bear with me, all right? <laughs> yeah. Don't fret. We're all your friends. Uh, well, that's why I figure, well, Song is for with friends. And we have the backup. We have the hard copy. <laughs> so that's always good. And then I just have to get Evelyn in here. She's going to help me with the slides because uh, this is a lot to do all for one person. I think I can do it, but I know things will go. Uh, I might miss a slide if I, <laughs> or I don't. And then I'm getting text messages on my other phone. Okay, I have two phones and a laptop on me. This is great. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go and see if Evelyn is ready to join us. One moment, please. How are you, Kathy? Do you found your I, phone? I got my phone, thank you. Oh my goodness, that was scary. I know I dropped it and then Ross and I traced our steps and it still wasn't there. And so I came home and I got my iPad and put on the app, find my phone. Right. And it took me back. We walked 12 kilometers yesterday. For that. Oh, wow. You oh. I, got it. <laughs> I lost my phone in the woods. Oh no. But anyway, we got it back. Somebody found it, put it in a plastic bag, and put it on a rock. Oh, nice. Oh, that nice. Nice. That's good. But it was the app that helped me find it because I don't, we had been past there before, never mm -hmm. saw it. There you go. Mm -hmm. All right. Almost one o'clock. I know Sheila Orton is going to join us too. And you're live on Facebook as well, right? We're trying this out. <laughs> and I don't think Evelyn's going to join us. So this is going to be 
be great. <laughs> start communion early I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh my goodness all right so you have your communion stuff yep mm -hmm. oh no I didn't oh. I got my tea <laughs> oh. Carol B Cannon's just hi Carol hi, hi Carol. Carol and I think that okay. <laughs> was you on the phone yep. Okay, yeah, that's me. Just gonna rename you so I remember. Maybe I might. I'm having a heck of. <laughs> uh, Sheila. Oh, okay. All right. Okay, I have one o'clock. Um, before we get started, I'm just gonna let you know. Um, I'm muting everyone except for me and Betty, and that's just so. We all have a little bit of a different kind of sync timing, so that should help with music. All right. Yep. All right. So I'm muting all right now, and then I'm unmuting Betty and I. Uh... Uh-oh. The host has muted all participants. So they can't hear us. I think Janet's the only one muted. Yeah. Huh. Something's happened. Is that work? Okay, just a second. I don't know who Marcus Necht is, but I'm letting him in. Okay. And now, oh, hi, Marcus Necht. <laughs> That's not Marcus. <laughs> all right. Okay. I am going to try the muting all and unmuting in a second, okay? Okay. Perfect. And what did Betty do? Okay, can you guys hear me okay? Nod of the head. Perfect. And I'm trying to unmute Betty. Betty, there's going to be a thing to press on your device that says unmute. Perfect. Awesome. Perfect. Okay. We got through that. Okay, so the, just the reason why we're muting everybody is because um, the sync is a little off, especially when we do uh, call the worship and stuff. And you'll see two of me on because I'm having tech issues. So I'm going to do our screen share. And at this point, you should be able to see a teeny bit of me and our worship slides. So let me make sure. Perfect. And share. All right. All right, everybody see everything okay? A nod of the head? Perfect, all right. Shall we start worship? <laughs> see how this goes. Uh, all right, so welcome to worship. Rev Jan from High Country United Church here in my kitchen with two accounts, because why not? <laughs> all right, um, and I'm just gonna go here, perfect. Awesome. I find keeping it kind of on that, that kind of screen, um, you don't have any video overlapping the words. So I'm going to keep it like that, but I think you can zoom in and out as you need to on your smaller devices. Okay. As we begin worship, we acknowledge that we work, worship and play on lands that many have taken care of well before us. And so we're going to sing our blessing through twice. Humbly we walk here, 
Humbly we pray here. Humbly we bless this ground. Humbly we walk here. Humbly we pray here. Humbly we bless this ground. All right. So welcome <laughs> as we try this out. And I'm just noticing that somebody else has joined our lobby. And because I'm in screen share mode, I cannot see who it is. So um, if you have joined, if you can just mute your microphone for us, it just keeps everything in sync. Perfect. OK, we'll assume all is well. Um, there are really no new announcements other than um, we're going to hope this works out OK. <laughs> and I hope seeing two of me isn't too much for you. I'm sure you're used to seeing Teresa. So just pretend the other Janet is Teresa and we'll have a good time. All right. OK, so let's join in our call to worship. We, we gather this day for worship from wherever we are to be together as one. We gather this day for worship, to worship God who walks with us through these different times. So let us sing, let us pray, let us reflect and let us be one in the body. And before we sing, I just want to light our candle as I already forgot. <laughs> we light our candle as we remember someone who once walked 2000 years ago, who said amazing things and did amazing things and people followed him. And as they followed him, they wondered who he was. And so they asked and he said, I am the light. I want to be the light. All right, there we go. And that is good. That is good. All right. All right, Betty, are you ready to play for us? And we're going to see how this music thing works. Oh, out. Try it. <laughs> okay. Thank you. 
Issue. So I'm wondering um, if when we do the rest of the music, because um, they're fairly familiar tunes, uh, maybe just kind of play uh, a verse for us and then we'll just kind of sing it a cappella and then there's not so much of a leg. Is that okay? Yeah. Mm -hmm. we're, Good. We're going to make something happen here, but let us pray, my friends. God who calls us into active and faithful living continue to call us in our days. You call us to be disciples in this day and age, and we admit that it could be challenging. But keep pushing us and keep nudging us to do and be who you call us to be. As we think about our calling, we, we also think about who we are in this time and what we can still become. God, hear us in a moment of silence as we offer to you the things on our hearts and take time to hear your voice within it. Loving and gracious God, we thank you for all that you give us we thank you for the great challenges in our midst and we just ask you to be with us in this time of worship making it the best we can in this trial and just be with our hearts be with our souls and help us to be empty so we can receive you in this time we pray this together saying our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. <laughs> My apologies, you can see when I'm doing things that I might miss a slide, so I'm glad you know your Lord's Prayer. That is good. Our scripture reading this morning comes from Luke 5, verses 1 to 11. Can everybody hear me okay still? Just a nod of the head if you can. Perfect, okay. Let us listen in as Jesus calls the first disciples. One day Jesus was standing on the shore of the lake while the people pushed their way up to him to listen to the word of God. 
He saw two boats pulled up on the beach. The fishermen had left them and were washing the nets. Jesus got into one of the boats. It belonged to Simon, and he asked him to push off a little from the shore. Jesus sat in the boat and taught the crowd. When he finished speaking, he said to Simon, push the boat out further to the deep water, and you and your partners let down your nets for a catch. Master, Simon answered, we worked hard all night long and caught nothing. But if you say so, I will let down the nets. They let them down and caught such a large number of fish that the nets were about to break. So they motioned to the partners in the other boat to come and help them. They came and filled boats so full of fish that the boats were about to sink. And when Peter, or Simon Peter saw what had happened, he fell on his knees before Jesus and said, go away from me, Lord. I am a sinful man. He and the others with them were all amazed at the large number of fish they caught. The same was true of Simon's partner, James and John, the sons of Zebedee. Jesus said to Simon, don't be afraid. From now on, you will be catching people. They pulled the boats up on the beach, left everything and followed Jesus. Hear what the spirit is saying to the church. Thanks be God. All right, so Betty, will you play us a verse of this song and then we're gonna do our best to sing it a cappella. Okay. Perfect, thank you. As we gather at your table, as we listen to your word, help us know, oh God, your presence. Let our hearts and minds be stirred. Nourish us with sacred story till we claim it as our own. Teach us through this holy banquet how to make love's victory known. Turn our worship into witness in the sacrament of life. Send us forth to love and serve you, bringing peace where there is strife. Give us Christ your great compassion to forgive as you forgave. May we still behold your image in the world you died to save. Gracious Spirit, help us summon other guests to share that feast. Where triumphant love will welcome those who have been last and least. There no more will envy blind us, nor will pride our peace destroy. As we join with saints and angels to repeat the sounding joy. All right, <laughs> we're getting through it one piece at a time. Friends, as we come to our tables, we think of sharing one table. As we share the gifts of food and drink, we think of sharing them together at one table. God be with us as we share in communion in this very special way today. Friends, God be with you and also with you. 
Lift up your hearts. We lift our hearts to the Lord. Let us give thanks to God. It is good to give God thanks and praise. Let us pray. Blessed are you, breath of peace, giver of life, source of love that knows no boundaries. You breathed into the world, all of creation, and a song emerged of your love. The lyrics of life full of hope and liberation where you were the singer and we are your song. You breathed into us life and leadership, calling us into being something different as each phase of life carries on, asking us to be strong, to have courage and to hold our faith lightly. Tightly, <laughs> we praise you for the divine breath you breathed into us and you continue to breathe into our world. And so we sing. Do you want to just play it through once or just the opening chord? All right. Oh, holy, holy, holy God, oh God of time and space, all earth and sea and sky above, bear witness to your grace. Hosanna in the Creation sings your praise, and blessed is the one who comes and bears your name always. Okay, <laughs> the sink is definitely off, but that's okay. All right, giving God. You gave us your son, Jesus, who continues to change us and our world this day. He called us, called people to follow him, to learn the lessons he taught and the examples he showed. He longed for us to learn that we are all worthy of God's gracious love and compassion. He taught us that nothing can separate us from you. And he died and rose again on the third day so that we might have life everlasting. And hear us now as we declare the mystery of our faith in song. Do you want to just do the opening chord? <laughs> Sing Christ has died and Christ is risen and Christ will come again. Sing Christ has died and Christ is risen and Christ will come again. Uh, da, 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 da. At this time, O oh God, we also remember all with whom you would have us share your feast. We pray for all who are in sorrow and in pain. For all who are ill or alone, all who are close to our hearts, all our sisters and brothers who live with fear, oppression, or hunger, all whose lives have been affected by violence, racism, or poverty. For all whom the world counts as last and least. We pray for the church and its many ministries, for communities striving for peace and justice, and an end to violence against all people. God of hope, may the bread and the wine be a source of renewal and transformation for each of us, and may our community be the safe place to continue building our faith and life filled with justice and service. Amen. 
At this time, we remember Jesus, who on the night before he died, took a loaf of bread. I have a slice. <laughs> and he broke it and said, take and eat. Whenever you do this, remember me. Likewise, after supper, he took the cup. <laughs> saying this is the new covenant remember me and so we pray come holy spirit come be with us now as we share this meal together all right opening chord they're ready <laughs> Amen, amen, O oh Holy One, Hosanna, and amen. Amen, amen, O oh Holy One, Hosanna, and amen. All right. Let us take the sustenance, the body of Christ, the bread of life. You have your drinks ready? <laughs> the lifeblood of Christ. The cup of Let us pray together. We thank you, God, for breathing life into our world and for your spirit that continues to help us within that life. We thank you, God, for this meal of thanksgiving and the stories of love, grace, and hope that tells it all. Amen. Oh, let us pray. Oh, great God of all, we thank you for the word we thank you for the meal we thank you for our community help us to hear your voice and your word in this message that we are about to hear we just ask you to bless our hearts as we receive whatever we feel inside in jesus name we pray amen and so um I didn't know what scripture to go with, but in this time of hmm, different time of living, I thought, what an interesting thing to think about when Jesus called his first disciples. It was a different time for them, and they were called, being called, to be something different, to do something different, and to follow someone they might not have known too well. And I don't know about you, but I feel like we're doing a lot of different well, a lot of the same too, right? But <laughs> a lot of things kind of different. I mean, for many, uh, we can't go and see our doctor. We have to kind of either video or phone in and do that. Um, I know some things are just starting to open up. So some normalcy is happening. But going to the grocery store is not the same. You can't just run in and out <laughs> going to get anything right now. Um, you have to anticipate a lot of different things. And so as I experience church in this way, um, I feel like Jesus has us in the boat and we've been trying to catch for a while in our normal living. And then all of a sudden Jesus says, wait, 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 just go over there. Just, just go over there. Do it. And, and, and we do it. And then we reel up all these fish. And 
that is kind of what I'm feeling like we're living in right now is our opportunities to reach out have really benefited <laughs> our ministry, at least online, although I know we're missing some of our regulars. Um, but there are amazing stories of people who have been away from their faith that are having conversations. And so I don't know if you're having those experiences where people are like, oh, I just am looking for something more or I'm bored of my mind. And you just start having faith conversations or say, hey, you should, you should check this out and see what's going on. Um, I know quite a few of you actually have friends who you never thought were going to watch church services. They're watching church services. So I don't know what that's about, but we'll take it, right? <laughs> Is it because we're doing communion live? I don't know, but... Um, it's in these times where I'm really hoping you're holding on to God still calling you, God still needing you, Jesus telling you, ah, move your boat a little more, get out of your comfort zone, and just try this and see what will happen. And I know for a number of us, uh, we are way outside our comfort zone and yet way inside our comfort zone as we stay in our house and do stuff. Um, but there are so many opportunities if we're looking for them. And so I pray that you're looking for them. What I really like is Jesus saying to Simon at the end, don't be afraid. From now on, you will be catching people. Not like a disease. Don't catch people like that. That'd be weird. But <laughs> to kind of reel them in and have conversations with them. And as we are um, experiencing all the protests, especially in the South on racism, um, those are some pretty significant conversations we can be having. And so I really encourage you to try, to try to open up about that and um, to really find out where your faith and the whole, hmm, the whole scenario collide. And to find out where you are in it. And I still, I thought I was good and then I'm learning I can still grow. And so that's fantastic, but hard too. And so don't be afraid. From now on, you will be catching people. Doesn't mean you get to reel them in, put them on the fryer. You actually have to do something with them. <laughs> so talk. Share your faith, share your stories, and share your love of God and our church. I mean, we're a pretty fantastic church family who will be strongly missing our strawberry supper. I think we should do a strawberry supper virtual. <laughs> but anyway, um, I leave that with you today, but let us pray together. Loving and gracious God, in this time that is different, we ask you to continue calling us to who you want us to be, what you want us to do. And if it's something very different than what we're used to, nudge us, encourage us, comfort us, remind us that you give these callings to people who are able and the skills come later. So to take confidence that you know what you're doing and that we can journey with you. We pray this in Jesus' name saying, Amen. Let us join in say, saying our United Church Creed together. We are not alone. We live in God's world. We believe in God who has created and is the word made flesh to reconcile and make new, who works in us and others by spirit. We trust in God. We are called to be the church, to celebrate God's presence, to live with respect in creation, to love and serve others, to seek justice and resist evil, to proclaim Jesus crucified and risen, our judge and our hope. In life, in death, in life beyond death, God is with us. We are not alone.
thanks be to God. All right, we're going to try another song. So, Betty, do you mind playing it through one time for us, and then we'll sing it a cappella again? Okay. Thanks. Just 
a reminder, if you have um, your audio on, if you can mute your audio, that would be fantastic. We do have a little bit of cutting in and out and I'm in the screen sharing mode. So I do, I'm not sure I'm able to mute anybody from the but it just helps when we're <laughs> singing those last pieces. So, all right, friends, uh, let us come together with our heart in prayer. Loving and gracious God, as you call us in all aspects of our lives, you call us to be hope and to be light and to be love. And so we continue to pray in this time of pandemic living. We pray for all our friends who are in congregant settings, for all our friends who are most vulnerable. So all our friends who are longing to be together with loved ones who are thinking about taking risks to do so. We pray for our communities that they remain safe, oh God, but willing to take a little risk to try to get some normalcy back. Help us to find masks to wear, to find the right distance to stay apart so we can be together, and to seek medical attention if need be. Be with our health officials, our politicians, our world leaders of all sorts, so oh God, and anyone who is making decisions for the betterment of our world. Give them wise counsel and keep them silent if they're not going to be wise. <laughs> so God, just be with all of them. We continue to pray, oh God, for our friends and our families near and far. We give thanks that Sheila is recovering from her eye surgery, that Tess is doing better from her bonfire accident. And we continue to pray for Joan and Winnie, Daphne, Aaron, Bobby, John, Bob, Marston, Lee, Lloyd, and Doris. Lisa and Ryan. God, you know all the things that are going on within each of them, and we just ask that they are surrounded by people who care for them, people who are skilled, and your abundant love. We also pray for our families who are grieving. We're still thinking of Doreen Wilson's family for Stephanie's family, for the Stavely family, for Christine, you and Burke's family, Alistair Ewan's family in Marilyn. Hold them tight, O oh God, and give them strength to take each moment as they come. We also pray for our Sunday school, O oh God, who <laughs> normally would be gathering this week for the year-end celebration and we just pray that they are all doing well and that maybe next year's celebration will be one of the biggest and we also pray for our friends at Peel Dufferin Acquired Brain Injury Services and creative partners on stage that all are doing well and keeping safe God as you continue to call us in these times stir our hearts in the biggest news that's making headlines the, at this week, and that's about racism and just justice and power. God, be with us all in our hearts and in our minds and our actions and our words, and help us to be your light and love within it all. We take a moment of silence, oh God, to the other prayers that weigh on us this day.
O Holy One, thank you for hearing our prayers, for being in our souls, and for following us all the days of our life. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And so just a reminder, offering is great. Thank you so much for your continued support. And um, so glad to hear many are supporting the Strawberry Supper still, even though it's not going on. So thank you, thank you, thank you. And if for some reason you don't know how to donate to the church and it's something you've been wanting to do, visit our website or shoot us an email or a message on Facebook or a text or whatever, and we'll get that information to you. We haven't sang this one in a long time. <laughs> All right, do you want to just do you want to just play a little bit, Betty, and then we'll sing it all yeah. again? Can I do? What can I bring? What can I say? I'll sing with joy, I'll say a prayer, I'll bring my love, I'll do my share. Loving God, be with us, be with the gifts that we give to the church whenever we can in whatever way we do. But God, may your love, may your light, may your purpose and your will be in those gifts share in the world amen all right i think we all know the tune to i the lord to see a sky right yeah mm -hmm. yeah all right you're gonna give us an opening note or a little bit you want to just play? I'll, I'll play the chorus and then you can put in on the verse perfect okay <laughs> Is it I, Lord? 
wind and the flame, I will tend the poor and lame. I will set a feast for them. My hand will save. Finest bread I will provide till their hearts be satisfied. I will give my life to them. Whom shall I send? Here I am, Lord. Is it I, Lord? I have heard you calling in the night. I will go, Lord, if you leave me, I will hold people in my heart. <laughs> oh, to sit on those chairs, <laughs> to look over the green grass, sitting in the sun, like life was normal again. <laughs> Friends, I pray that no matter what you're going through, no matter lonely or not, that you are feeling the love of God surround you and all your friends at High Country United Church. May the light of love be the light of God, the light of love <laughs> be in you in all your days. Amen. All right, Betty, you're going to give us an opening note on Send Us Out? I'll give you the introduction. Okay, I like it. <laughs> Send us out in the power of your spirit, Lord. May our lives bring Jesus to the world. May each thought and word bring glory to your name. Send us out in your spirit, Lord, we pray. <laughs> Send us out in the power of your spirit, Lord. May our lives bring Jesus to the world. May each thought and word bring glory to your name. Send us out in your spirit, Lord, we pray. Send us out in your spirit, Lord, we pray. All right, now I'm going to do stop share and I can see everybody again. Well, we survived it. <laughs> I'm uh, new to you all. There we go. You can talk again. We're on. <laughs> I know, like nobody wants to talk. Okay, so. Let's say happy. Uh, you, Congratulations. <laughs> uh, all right.